After quite a long time, Bonstor finally received uh, some new tanks to the list. Uh, this is the Bonstor I'm talking about, where the items are available all the time. Uh, now, over here, I already do have some tanks from the previous events, like this 268 version 5, which has been on sale uh, via auction system, for example. But to see the full list, uh, let's quickly go over here. Uh, long story short, we received uh, some uh, good tanks. We received some, um, you know, kind of a fun tanks. Uh, meme tanks and we received uh, tanks what I definitely recommend you to stay away from uh, from this list over here so 268 version 5 is a tier 10 one uh, tier 9 VZ114 premium tank uh, chieftain T95 object 252U and SU100Y are the brand new additions to the bond store on the top of that Marengo 3D style for batch 25T uh, swordfish for M5 Yo, then the Tiger Claw for WZ, which is also in the store, and also Montu or Mon. I don't know how to say that uh, properly. Montu, I believe, uh, for IS3 special 3D styles as well. All those are available inside the Bond store. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually quickly going to talk about uh, the vehicles uh, one by one, and let's start with. Uh, the kind of a meme dank in this list, and this is of course the SU-100Y. And uh, why this uh, tank, why, yeah, pun intended, uh, why this tank can be kind of kind of meme, kind of fun to play with is because of its ammunition choices. Now, you can see that this tank has two uh, AP rounds. It has the, the standard round and it has the premium round, but uh, I don't know, like, should we call this a premium round or should we call this secondary AP round because... Uh, how the ammunitions work over here is your standard round has 196 millimeters of penetration with 870 shell velocity and it deals 440 alpha damage. But your secondary AP round has 510 alpha damage while losing quite significant amount of penetration from 196 down to 171 and they both have uh, exactly the same shell velocity. So what you are doing in this case by dabbing the Q, uh, two key you are not going to make yourself a straight up better player you know like with uh, most of the tanks in this game like 99.58% of the tanks where you tap the two key you get uh, more penetration but uh, the same alpha damage and in many cases you get more shell velocity as well so over here it is just simple you gain 70 alpha damage but you lose 25 millimeters of penetration so kind of a cool way uh, to uh, use the shells um, different to, to make the difference uh, of the between two AP rounds over here, right? And also HE uh, 580 alpha and 65 penetration, which in tier six uh, you would be surprised that this is uh, a lot and and enough uh, in many cases, I would say so. Uh, so this tank, of course. Um, is more of a meme to deal massive amount of damage. Uh, you can actually one-shot many tier uh, 5 tanks that this tank can face, or not even talking about tier 4 tanks, uh, right? Because that 510 alpha, if you're using the secondary AP round over here, or 440 alpha always hits hard as well if you're able to hit your shots, and of course this is the problem. This gun tends to be quite a terpy one. Now, my equipment units, uh, which I was using in this battle, um, and also when I was free marking it, uh, mainly was uh, improved aiming, rammer and ventilation and uh, this is how um, I liked uh, to play this tank the most and uh, you know accuracy down to 0 0.32, uh, 2.4 second aiming time, it still takes quite a lot of time to aim in. Of course the big problem is the um, gun depression, only minus 5 degrees of gun depression. It is not the fastest tank and it is a huge box with 60 millimeters of armor all around it. So armor, nothing you can count on uh, whoever sees you just think about that they are able to penetrate you so just try to avoid getting shots and occasionally it can get some lucky bounces if they hit the edges very edges of your armor but usually whatever is going to see you is able to penetrate you so su 100 y uh, for 5000 bonds uh, you know you can pick up tiger 131 as well which is uh, more reliable but this i would say for me personally is more fun and if you like to me me a uh, high alpha type of things um, in lower tiers you know this might be your pick uh, 
Moving on uh, by two tiers actually, but with exactly the same alpha. Object 252U that has 440 alpha as well actually. And uh, this is, uh, I would say, one of the better tanks they added with this rotation. And it is uh, quite... Um, Quite a forgiving tank for newer players. Uh, every now and then there are people coming to the stream, for example, asking, uh, Hey Des or Chat, you know, which tanks do you recommend for uh, a newer player? Which premium tanks? Uh, sorry, is the main question. And uh, all the time Chat recommends Object 252U. Even though I have to say, honestly, I'm not uh, the biggest fan of this tank because of the gun handling. The gun is bloody derpy. This gun is effective from close to... Uh, not even up to like medium range from close to semi medium range guys is this a thing even is this am i allowed to say that anyway this is what i think about that you know anything from medium to uh, long range you're just uh, rolling to dices are you going to be lucky or not even with when you fully aim in because this uh, accuracy is 0 in 40 you know this is not the greatest uh, the aiming time the dispersion values you know not the greatest um, Minus 6 degrees of gun depression as well. But where this tank shines is the uh, trolliness of the armor. Even versus higher tiers, actually. Whenever I play with this, uh, wiggling, um, even uh, like baiting out the side scraping action, it can work. It can get some silly bounces. And if you are ending up in a match like where I ended up in this battle, you can just uh, do foolish things. And you can just... Uh, press the W key and uh, get stuff done. You are trading uh, them shooting you, but they are able to penetrate you way less than you are able to penetrate them, because uh, it has uh, solid 225 uh, base AP penetration, standard AP penetration, or 265 with premium APCR. So I wouldn't say this tank really struggles with penetration. It has uh, troll armor, <clears throat> of course, you know, in higher tiers versus premium rounds. It can uh, be penetrated quite easily, but, you know, Know which tier 8 tank doesn't, right? Uh, then uh, mobility is like okay, a view range, uh, nothing you can brag with, you, you are not able to spot uh, much if you do not run go to the optics or ventilation or the combo of toes, but uh, my setup is just a turbo stabilizer and uh, rammer and I just press the W key in this uh, pretty much, uh, so yes, it does forgive you uh, some shots, uh, but um, or it does forgive you many mistakes you're going to make as a newer player, let's say. But the armor, uh, sorry, the gun is a little bit too troll for me. And for 9,000 bonds, well, definitely it is not, the, it is not going to be the first uh, tank uh, you can pick up from the bond store. It can be a solid credit maker for you if you enjoy those type of vehicles. Not my favorite though, but, you know, recommended for newer players if you don't care about the gun handling much now next up let's talk about the tank which i definitely do not recommend even though guys they had a chieftain you know everybody wanted to see chieftain in the bone store and there you go this is the chieftain they had a chieftain slash d95 but this, sadly, is the chieftain you do not want to get. I have actually made a video about this, and I believe the video was titled Chieftain You Do Not Want to Get, because, guys, <clears throat> I'm sorry if you are this tank enjoyer. It is my opinion once again. But this tank doesn't shine with anything. Like, legitimately with anything. You know, you, are, you have a premium tank, and you want to make credits with your premium tank, right? 202 base spend. <clears throat> or 238 with premium APCR, which is very fast, by the way. Yes, the premium rounds on this tank, 1,570, very fast, extremely fast, but still the penetration issue. Plus, it has the huge commander hatch on the top of the turret, which can be penetrated, even though your gun depression is minus 10 degrees. The turret, uh, we exposed the gun. Uh, the gun system, commander hatch, however you call that, the machine gun port over there, <coughs> is still going to be visible everywhere. Gun handling, let's say, let, let's let's call it decent, right? But the mobility, average, 42 top speed without turbo, or 47 with turbo, 17 power to weight ratio. View range, view range is good actually, view range is good, right? But uh, all the other things, guys, honestly, for 10,000 bonds, to, you have to pay 2,000 more than for guard, for example, which I would pick um, over this tank any day of the week. This is simply not worth it. Chieftain slash D95 in the bond store, ladies and gentlemen. So, 
I would stay away from it. It is just my recommendation, my opinion about this vehicle. Now, moving on to the uh, WZ114. This is a tier 9 premium heavy tank. And uh, how long has the video been? Like, let's say around 10 minutes, right? <coughs> let's say the video has been around 10 minutes already. If I started aiming in with this tank at the start of the episode, WZ114 or WZ114 would still not be fully aimed in yet. I mean, this tank simply has ridiculously long aiming time. And overall, uh, like straight out, I would not recommend this tank very much because um, it is too slow in many areas to be consistently effective for your team, for yourself, you know, to uh, grind some credits, to farm some credits. It has, uh, you know, 2000 DPM, which, you know, DPM, we know, doesn't mean everything. It has nice punchy gun, 530 alpha, but the gun uh, overall is not very reliable, especially if you need to take, um, you know, faster snapshots when you're not able to full aim in your shots. Uh, uh, also, the mobility is not the uh, fastest the armor. I would honestly say, like, armor is quite reliable if you are able to hide your massive lower plate somehow, somewhere. But, you know, with minus uh, 10 degrees of gun depression, using that, the armor becomes quite reliable. But, uh, uh, overall, as the package itself, as the full package comes, it is just too slow, I feel, uh, to be very effective. And this is why I do not recommend this tank uh, very much. I know it has a diehard fan base. Like, uh, it is actually a meme tank on the stream. Uh, sorry, Kitsune. Sorry, Crazy Salty. Uh, they are diehard fans for this tank. But, uh, you know, I like to call it like a tier 9 dog too because of the hit points. It has ridiculously high hit, hit point amount as well. 2640, what you can see in this battle with uh, standard improved hardening or basic improved hardening in the um, hardening slot or the survivability slot but yeah you know the overall as far as the overall package comes it is like not the most enjoyable tank to play unless you enjoy very slow tanks very slow battles uh, you know if this is something you enjoy this might be for you but there are just so many other tier 9 um, tanks which i would rather play instead of that uh, but you know it is a premium tank so at least it makes you some credits as well and every shot you hit and pen 530 alpha well, that's uh, some credits for you. But overall, definitely not the biggest fan of that. But uh, the uh, standard uh, penetration 266 is very nice with the AP round. And I had some very lucky shots in the battle on the background, for example. Now, moving on to the last vehicle, and this is the tier 10 tank they added, Object 268 version 5. Now, I have to say, <clears throat> I personally actually quite enjoy the tank myself because it has 750 alpha on a tank that has a turret and i'm a fan of that uh, already you know it has very punchy gun uh, 303 standard pen which is nice it can go through stuff and if you are lucky you're able to hit manti two times as you saw in this battle for example but um, yeah, if you have played this tank, you know how exactly how lucky I was in this situation. Because this tank doesn't like to hit uh, non-fully aimed in shots. Like basically ever. If you want to hit this tank or with this tank, you need to full aim in your shots. Uh, where I would place 268 uh, version 5 is just a bang on average. It doesn't, uh, you know, it is not like exceptional tank but uh, for some reason i still find myself enjoying it would i recommend it uh, well i wouldn't recommend it for um, if you're not very comfortable with uh, you know the weekly armored uh, tanks uh, um, like this or or uh, you know turpy gun handling if you are allergic to turpy gun handling well then uh, this tank definitely is not for you but it can have its moments uh, for sure now because this is not a premium tank it doesn't make you more credits you can just uh, transfer um same soviet um, tank destroyer crew members into it right without any penalty so it can be a crew trainer for you but 15,000 bonds uh, this is quite a hefty price tag for that because this tank has been available I think two times. Uh, first time it was a free experience auction and second time it was 20 million credits. Uh, like, I think it has been available two times, maybe three times. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the in the comment section. But yeah, you know, minus five degrees of gun depression can get you into trouble. That uh, commander hatch, uh, what is visible from orbit, can get you into trouble. There are many things ca that can get you into trouble. So, for average players, uh, 
whose first, uh, let's say, turreted tank destroyer this would be, uh, then, eh, don't go for it, I would say so, but um, if you like punchy guns, uh, 395 heat pen as well, I should say, that, uh, that stuff goes through, like, stuff very easily, uh, I would say so. So, it might be for you, but, you know, it is just average at the best, ladies and gentlemen. So, Bond vehicles covered in today's video. SU-100Y, Object 252U, Chieftain, slash D95, we WZ-104 and 268 version 5. Which tank is your favorite from the list? Are you going to uh, pick up anything from the Bond store? Uh, or what other Bond store tanks are your favorite and would you recommend for the viewers? Please let me know in the comment section. Let's help, uh, let's help out other viewers over there. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope it was helpful. I catch you next time with something else. Stay awesome, take care, and bye.